everyone! In this video, we will be doing an experiment demonstrating how clouds are formed. You will only need a few simple materials to do this experiment. So, let's get started. For this experiment, you need a bottle of hairspray, a jar with a little bit of water, and some ice on the cap of the jar. And you might also want to use a black piece of paper. First, heat up the jar in a microwave for around a minute. Use oven mitts and place it down. Immediately put the cap with the ice on top to trap the steam inside. After leaving the cap on for some time, spray some hairspray inside of the jar and immediately cover it again. Leave it there for a little bit and wait for the inside of the jar to fog up a little bit. As shown, you should start seeing a cloud-like fog build up inside of the jar. After waiting for a few minutes, lift the cap off and see the cloud-like fog come out of the jar. The black paper is placed behind it so you can see it better. So now let's talk about how this experiment works and how clouds are formed. When you heat the jar with water, the water turns into water vapor, which is a gas form of water. This water vapor travels to the top of the jar and cools because of the ice at the top of the jar. The ice causes the water vapor to condense into water. Condensation is when a gas cools into its liquid form. The condensed water then needs something to cling on to in order for us to be able to see it. In this case, the hairspray is what this con the condensed water clung on to. In the real world, when water evaporates into water vapor, the water vapor clings on to dust particles, air pollution, or pollen in order to be visible. So that's how a cloud is formed. The water cycle is the process by which the water gets from the land to the air and vice versa. In this simple diagram, we can see this, the basic components of the water cycle. So first, pause this video and try to figure out if you can determine what 1, 2, 3, and 4 represent. And then play the video again and see if you're correct. So now let's talk about what each of these arrows and numbers symbolize. One is representing the heat that the sun gives off. Two represents evaporation. Evaporation is the process by which water turns into water vapor. The arrow from one is pointing towards two because the heat from the sun is what causes evaporation to occur. The water vapor then condenses or turns from its gaseous state to its liquid state and in three becomes a cloud. The, co the condensed water clings on to dust particles or air pollution or pollen as we mentioned previously and turns into a cloud. When the cloud no longer can bear the weight of the water, it precipitates, which is represented by arrow four. So this is the process of the water cycle. So that concludes today's experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time.